So in case you haven't heard, um, New York recently legalized marijuana in the state, recreational use. I don't know exactly what the uh, amount is that people are going to be allowed to possess, but that presents a lot of issues for drivers in New York. Um, as it stands, I don't like having to transport people who have been on the smoke. It smells up the car, and then when someone comes in after you, you know, that it lingers. And so people might think that, oh, the driver, me, was the one who was on the smoke. But now, because it's legal, we can't ask someone to get out of the vehicle. We can't deny someone a ride. It's going to be legal in 2022. So how do we deal with this? Well, I mean, I don't think most people who use marijuana are necessarily a threat or a risk. However, again, it's that lingering smell that we have to deal with because someone can get in the vehicle after them and assume that it was the person who was driving who had been smoking. In fact, you know, I mean, e even with cigarettes, it's like that, right? You go pick someone up, they put their cigarette out right before they get in the vehicle. And what happens? You smell it the entire time that they're in the vehicle. And it's going to be the same way with marijuana use. People are going to put out their joint or their blunt or their spliff or whatever <laughs> term you want to use. And it's going to linger in the vehicle. So now we as drivers are put in the position of, okay, do I take that next ride or do I stop and air out my car for the next 20 or 30 minutes? Maybe not 20 or 30 minutes, but you know, you got the spray, you can only cover up so much. How do we deal with that? How do we, um, how do we be gracious when someone is coming into the vehicle and saying, oh, it smells like dope in here. Have you been smoking? I mean, I don't want to get a negative rating. I don't want to get reported for possibly being under the influence. So there's a responsibility on Uber and Lyft as well to make sure that, hey, um, they need to recognize that if someone reports a driver who, quote, smells like marijuana, uh, they need to really investigate that and make sure that we're not being falsely reported for something that we didn't do. Now, if you're driving and smoking, uh, that's going to be an issue. Are they going to have some, I mean, there's no way to really test if someone is under the influence, as far as I know, like a breathalyzer or something like that. So as far as a police pulling people over, I mean, the analysis is going to be based on observable facts. So it'll be interesting to see how this all goes down. I, for one, am not looking forward to it. I don't uh, partake of the holy bud. So, uh, you know, it's just not my scene. But we'll see in the future how this works out. And I'd love to hear in people who live in states where recreational use has been uh, legalized. What do you do when someone reports you or asks you if you've been smoking. I mean, do you say, oh, it was the guy, bef the, the person before you? How do you handle that? How does Uber handle that when you're reported for smoking? Uh, leave a comment down below. My name is John from Ride Upstate. And hey, I just want to remind you that just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.